Welcome in my studio. I'm very pleased to be part of the international project of Di Henshaw from Ireland. I invite you to take a look inside my studio. It's a very peaceful and silent space in one of the last backyards of the town. The town where I live is named Klosterneuburg, which is situated nearby the capital of Austria, Vienna. In the moment, we have the second wave of lockdown, a soft one, but there are tough times ahead now. We are all suffering because all cultural institutions are closed. All exhibitions and events are cancelled. It's horrible. But hope dies last. In spring, during the first lockdown, I was busy to prepare some works for an international art award. I was nominated within the best 27 positions by a jury. As a result, I came into an exhibition in a museum with a gallery of modern art. Maybe you are visiting Vienna in the next year, so you can also visit that exhibition which has the title Was Light Tut? What Suffer Does. It is in the monastery of Klosterneuburg. Another project came to an end, which is a cooperation with an Austrian carpet dealer. The wall hangings are designed by myself. They are hand knotted by carpet weavers of Kathmandu in Nepal from poor highland wool of sheep and yaks. Between the carpets and my wall hangings is a connection. The rough paper is also handmade from Nepal. Here you can see most works in this style. They are all made with fine inks and Japanese or Chinese brushes. Therefore, I call them ink calligraphy. The title of the whole series is Living Structure. All my works are inspired by nature. They are transformations of my sense perception and made in a gestural style. They are speaking an individual language and appear to be secret characters. I have to mention that I also do electroacoustic performances with a composer for commuter music, with the Austrian musician Tobias Leibitz Eder. On my website, you can see some examples. Very typical for my works are the colors black, red and blue.
the red brush drawings on the wall are my pandemic pictures as a reaction to the corona crisis. The already were shown in a group exhibition. I hope it's clear that they include the message of a disruption in our nature. They have to do with birth and death, with alpha and omega. In the next few months, I will develop new images for a solar exhibition in 2021. I'm confident that times will get better again. So, I think it's enough for today. Stay safe, dear friends, and keep calm. Maybe once in a time, I can welcome you in my wild Alpine Republic. Thank you. Goodbye.